There was never a time where it was like, I wasn't involved in it and then I was. I think it was more of just a process that slowly grew a little bit bigger with each day that went by. The hardest part was actually, um, actually keeping track of my time and being responsible and actually getting stuff done because it's easy to take a five day weekend. I just really wanted to jump into it so I took a little weekend course, I bought my table, I did some relaxation massages for family and friends and I said you know what this is what I want to do full time. I've worked in the IT industry for over nine years so it was something I've always done, um, I've always had experience in and I thought you know I was successful with other employers and now it was time for me to strike it on my own. And then it kept snowballing, snowballing and snowballing. Then all of a sudden a corporation said, hey Jess, you want to do all of our uh, newsletters and all of our branding stuff that we need, that we can't really hire a designer for, but we need to outsource it? And I'm like, um, okay, business time. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, it's extremely rewarding. There's nothing you, you feel like King Kong on crack, uh, like on top of the like Empire State Building just hollering because you made this. I'm a registered massage therapist and I always really wanted to deliver this service the way I wanted it to deliver. There's something that about working for yourself and being able to um, have the flexibility to serve your needs. I just know what I like and that's what I wanted to give to other clients. I've actually kept to what my original vision was, was to slowly grow and have a workplace that was fun to come to that uh, worked on larger projects to help really showcase businesses and really get into the web developing. A lot of it has to do with research. Uh, we also then do a lot of brainstorming. Finally, I'm doing what I want to do and that is 3D uh, art. At the time, uh, I was unemployed actually, so big factor is trying to find a job. And of course, you know, I wanted to get a job in something that I went to school for, which wasn't available at the time. So I figured, you know, I would create that opportunity for myself. I worked for other employers uh, doing web and graphics and basically a plethora of things. I just gained experience from that and figured, well, I can do this for someone else. Why can't I do it for myself? Uh, when you work for someone else, you know you go in, you do your, your nine to five and Monday to Friday and you do the work that they, that they want. You go home and you don't think about it. Um, but when you work on your own, um, you have to do everything um, and it's 24-7. I had all this time and um, I wasn't able to find a job that I wanted to do. I wasn't willing to settle to just do some job to make a paycheck. I wanted to do something that I was going to enjoy and to be happy with. So when I decided to start teaching myself this more, um, my husband said to me one day, he was like, you know what Jeanette, maybe this might be something for you to look into. Basically, uh, I design everything on the website and make it look pretty and I cut it up into little pieces and I'm like, here, make this internet now, make web page go. And um, he does it and it's really amazing because I have no idea how to do that. And um, he uh, is very supportive, he does like if I'm having trouble with certain aspects of the story, I I brainstorm with him and I can hammer it out and I'll be like, okay, I'm good. And also since he was in the military and since this is zombie gun shoot him up thing, uh, he knows a lot about guns and is teaching me a lot of uh, military-esque aspects that I need to implement into the comic. Uh, we're trying to do youth outreach to uh, promote careers in entrepreneurship. We did run a young entrepreneur program where we actually took a group of youth uh, that wanted to start their own business and we had a program where we mentored them as they started their business and, and started to run their businesses. Uh, we've done outreach programs to high schools and elementary schools to promote awareness of entrepreneurship skills. 
Uh, we're also running a program called Proto Launch, which is actually teaching uh, young students how to develop video games and, uh, and enabling them to enter in a, a video gaming competition in the summer. Summer Company is a provincial uh, program that offers students from the ages of 15 to 29 years of age that are returning to school an opportunity to explore business ideas uh, and receive a grant of up to $1,500 for startup funds and run a summer company during the summertime period and receive another $1,500 as an award for following the program requirements that they can return to for the end of school. As we partner with uh, Wabatech, which provides grants and funding to uh, start up business costs for uh, small businesses or uh, existing businesses and uh, of Aboriginal uh, descent. And uh, we work with them to provide workshops on, in particular, like small business workshops or how to write a business plan and why to have a business plan. I've always believed that you should always do something that you love from the heart, from your heart and soul. Not for the money, because I've been there, done that. I've done jobs where I was making really good money, but really stressed out, you know, fighting with this, that, or the other, or not really following my path. And that was the biggest thing. So when I came into this profession, everything just clicked. Everything fell into place as far as where my training took place, how I was able to get my training, you know, all these things fell into place. I started at the Employment Connection. Uh, they assisted me with the uh, process. There is an application, you fill out some information they take, uh, and of course it gets brought up the ladder. Uh, and then you get involved with uh, the Community Development Corporation, CDC. They assist you from there, and through the year you meet with them, and uh, go in for some workshops and they guide you through on you know running your business and after that year you're let go and then you can hopefully survive and and make your business um, strive. You know, entrepreneurship is a is a wonderful wonderful uh, way to make make a living and um, you have control of your somewhat control like uh, of your um, of your life. Um, you can create fe flexible hours um, and you basically drive, uh, drive your, your own success. Take a leap and trust your gut. Um, I know that it's scary um, waking up every morning and not knowing where. You don't have a steady paycheck, you don't know where your money's coming from, but the benefits to weighing out the money thing versus your happiness is really, like I love being able to do what I love to do and that's my job. Go for something you love. Don't go necessarily for something that you think will make you money right away. If you don't love it and you get into a rough spot, you're not gonna keep on going through it. So loving what you do, essential. You have the moxie to do this, then you can do it. It is, just takes a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication too, and you will have those crappy days. But the thing is, you will have those good days too, and you just gotta focus on the good and learn from the bad, and just keep on keeping on. <laughs>